In part two of the modification of the RV cargo carrier, we add some extras, including a camp chair holder and stabilizer struts. And I've designed the backstop system so that you can remove components and add components. And that's the case here with the camp chair holder. The stabilizer struts are not designed to provide more weight carrying capability. They're just designed to stabilize the left to right motion of the cargo carrier. And if you've not seen video part one of the project, I'll provide that link here. The stabilizer brackets simply go from the frame under the RV and then attach to the sides of the cargo carrier, which again prevents the side-to-side -side motion as you're going down the road. So let's see how everything fits on the back of the cargo carrier. My Honda outboard, my camp chairs, and my tote tank. According to the Michigan Department of Transportation, Act 300 PA of 1949 as amended, overhang beyond rear vehicles, any amount is permissible if the legal length is not exceeded. However, if this overhang is four feet or more, there shall be displayed on the extreme rear of such a load a 12-inch red square flag in the daytime and a red light or lantern at night. Because the cargo carrier only extends two foot behind the RV. We meet the legal definition in Michigan for having this cargo carrier on the back of the RV without having a flag or a light. Visit rv-project.com.